All right, we are going to talk about the electromagnetic spectrum. So um, we've talked about waves a lot, and so these are a different type of waves or a different subcategory of waves, I guess, within the overall idea of waves. Electromagnetic waves are made by vibrating electrical charges. That would be like electrons and protons. Um, and they can travel through space. So in other words, they don't need a medium. So remember, a medium is just something that something can travel through, such as like air and water. Electromagnetic waves don't need anything, which is why they can travel through space. Um, frequency of electromagnetic waves is the number of vibrations per second measured in hertz, so very similar to the frequency that we discussed when we talked about the um, characteristics of waves. So the electromagnetic spectrum is basically the entire range of electromagnetic frequencies. So they go all the way from these really low frequency waves to these very high frequency waves. And within the electromagnetic spectrum is the light that humans can see. It's what we can see. So uh, this is why this is called visible right here. And I'm sure a lot of you guys have heard of ultraviolet rays when it comes to putting on sunscreen and x-rays, maybe when you break your hand, gamma rays, I'm sure in some comic books or some <laughs> videos or something, like uh, movies, cartoon movies, um, infrared, I'm sure you've heard of those, uh, microwave and radio waves. So these are basically all of the waves that we go through, and this is their frequency. So radio having the lowest frequency and gamma ray having the highest frequency. And in there is the visible light that we can actually see all the different colors of the rainbow. Oops, sorry. So radio waves are low frequency waves. Uh, they have a wavelength about 1 to 10 centimeters. Um, examples of this would be like radio stations, microwaves, radar, um, stuff like that. Infrared waves have slightly higher frequency than radio waves, and examples of that would be like when you use your remote control on your TV, excuse me, when you feel warmth off of a fire, and uh, satellites like direct TV or dish. Um, visible light is the range of electromagnetic waves that you can detect with your eyes. These are all the different colors and color variations that you can see. Um, Roy G. Biv, remember, that's all of the different colors of the rainbow, and those are the different colors that um, we can see. Each of those colors has a different wavelength, um, and even each of the variations of each of those colors have a different wavelength, and that's why we see them and interpret them in our brain a little bit differently. Then there's ultraviolet ray waves. These are, um, they're called ultraviolet because they're higher in frequency than the violet of the visible spectrum. Uh, frequencies have higher than visible light. Um, so when you have sunburns, that's because of ultraviolet waves. Uh, whenever you are able to produce vitamin D in your body, which is anytime you're in the sun, that's because of ultraviolet waves. Excuse me, and that is a good thing. Okay, vitamin D is very important for your, um, very important for you to actually survive. Your body needs vitamin D, and the only way to um, have it, it, you can't get it through eating, um, unless you drink like vitamin enriched milk or vitamin enriched something, but the majority of the time, the only way you can get vitamin D is through the sun. Uh, fluorescent materials absorb it, so anytime you see those fluorescent lights, they're absorbing ultraviolet rays, and it also is good for killing bacteria, so we often sterilize things using ultraviolet rays. Um, X-rays and gamma rays, these are the ultra-high frequency waves, and they can travel through matter. The problem with them is that they damage cells. Um, when we get our X-rays, yeah, you're, you're probably doing some damage to your skin cells. However, you need to figure out if your bone is broken or not. So it's kind of a necessary evil, if you will. Um, and then uh, radiation therapy. So when people go through chemo and radiation, part of this radiation is shooting um, gamma rays at the cancer cells in hopes of killing them since they do damage cells. And then production of superheroes like the Hulk. So... Um, I hope that those uh, different wavelengths or different spectrums all make sense. So here's an example of all these. Um, and this is about the size, so how uh, far apart or how big the frequencies are. So radio waves literally are about the size of a building, and then grain of sugar, and then bacteria. And then these are so close together, they're 
a distance apart is about the size of a nucleus of an atom. All right, so that is all we are going to do today. Thank you very much.